Hey fam, welcome back to my channel. It's me, your girl, and me. Hope all is well. Happy New Year's to you all. Um, I know I'm supposed to have this video out a little sooner, but I had a cold, I had to get over my little man voice is still strong. But y'all, excuse this little voice. <coughs> y'all know me. But I uh, <laughs> hope all is well, y'all. But um, real quick, I just wanted to get on here and tell y'all something to get it off my chest because I'm not bringing it into my new year. So with that being said, we're just going to jump right into this conversation. Before we do, give your girl a thumbs up, subscribe, share, like, and comment. Don't forget to share, share, share. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe or whatever. <laughs> That's if you want to. But anyway, all right. So, y'all, it took me a long time to get to this place that I am. You know, two months ago when I did a story time um, about overcoming homelessness, I was like still in my feelings. I still was emotional, y'all. So that's why, like, in the video, I cried a little bit. I needed that healing sensation. But it wasn't because I was like hurt or whatever it was like from a healing place you feel me so yeah i needed those tears of joy so um on to this topic right so the reason why i just like decided to be a single mom and just decided why i just it's just not good for my mental to be with anybody at this time you feel me because i took a long time to build myself back up it took a long time for me to really believe in myself y'all because I ain't want to get on here and tell a life story. I said that a long time ago. I ain't want to get on here and tell my life story. But then it was like, no, you, it was like, I kind of had like secondhand embarrassment for myself, you know, for all the shit that I like put up with or how low my standards was, how low my boundaries was when it came to men. So it was like, I wasn't going to get on here and tell y'all how dumb of a bitch I was. You get what I'm saying? Like how low my standards were, how... I just allowed men to mistreat me, use me, um, abuse me, lie, manipulate, cheat, um, gaslight, belittle, um, what else? All of the above, all of the above I have actually been with, been through with, you know, with men and in relationships. So that's why right now in my life, no, nah, it's not, relationships is just not where I want to be at. Um, cause right now I just don't want bringing nobody motherfucking bad energy where you don't know their intentions you get what i'm saying but um yeah so my my girl's dad my oldest he's a, he, he incarcerated he's been incarcerated for the last six years um that's his business or whatever and i made the decision to not have my daughter um go see him write letters accept calls um some people might say it's petty but at the end of the day he's been in and out of her life majority of all her life like when he wasn't running the streets he was incarcerated so i didn't want my child to feel like she was incarcerated too you get what i'm saying so i made the decision to not let her you know see him go ain't like his ass kid anyway let's just say that ain't like your kid anyway because if he kid he would made the decision to run the streets you know what i'm saying so i made a decision to not have my child kind of be a part of the system too. You get what I'm saying? Because just because he dedicated his life to a crime, that don't mean me or my child going to dedicate our life to a crime. That wasn't me. So I took the I made the decision to like move on with my life. You get what I'm saying? I always try to be that parent, be like, I'm gonna give him a chance. Um, people go through stuff, kind of just trying to be understanding. And that understanding gave people the, uh, the right to kind of walk all over me. You get what I'm saying? Like, I've been through so much that I'm an understanding person. You get what I'm saying? Like, oh, you don't have it right now? Don't worry, you'll get it. Um, you don't you don't drive right now? Don't worry, you'll get it. I always was the type to try to build a person up, build a person up, right? But and after so long of building a person up and I'm knocking myself down, I just had to, you know, cut it, cut all strings, cut all strings with my oldest one and my youngest one. With my youngest daughter father, he just was freaking crazy. Like he always wanted to be, um, start drama, get uh, drunk and then call and cause a scene and all that stuff. Y'all, I could do hella story times about it, every incident that went on, but why would I? You get what I'm saying? Why would I? I'm just done with that, right? So that's why I made a decision. I keep saying I made a decision because it is a decision to just cut all ties, change my line. Um, it's just not worth it at this point because I gave the men opportunities to be in their kid's life and they did not do what they supposed to do. You get what I'm saying? Like, like I said, I'm very understanding. And once you take advantage of my kindness, of my understanding what you're going through and blah, 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 
you basically won't get the same side of me again. So that's why my children don't have relationships with they did because they dads decided to, you know, be dusties and run the streets. And that's their decision. And again, I take accountability for laying down with dusties when I was going to be my dusty times. You know what I'm saying? But that's either here or there. I take accountability for that. But I also um, need for them to try to take accountability. I don't need for them to do shit at the end of the day. That's, that's the, between them and God. But they just need to do better. And um, right now, they won't be in my children's life. Sorry, sorry I had a phone call. <clears throat> but, um, yeah. So, right now, I'm just doing everything I'm supposed to do for my kids, um, which I'm not supposed to do. So, you won't ever see me get on here and say, oh, I don't have this. Oh, I won't be able to do this because that's not, I'm, that's not me. I won't ever get on here and complain about my duties as a mother because I chose to be a mother. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to do what I need to do by any means for my kids. Point blank period. Point blank period. Without even having to say shit. That's what I'm going to do. You feel me? But, um, like I said, I don't need the men to take accountability for what they did to me. What they're doing to their kids. You know what I mean? Karma going to handle that. God going to handle that. And I know y'all don't like nobody preaching that, y'all. But I want to get on here and teach y'all that. Y'all ain't the only ones that went through relationship problems with men. You feel me? It's up to you to decide if you're going to dwell on the past or if you're going to keep it moving. And that's mainly why I probably don't get on here and tell story times about my past because I don't want to dwell on it. You feel me? It happened. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Now, what's the next steps? That's that's basically the type of person I am. You feel me? Once I sit and soak on the situation and analyze everything and see what I can do from, you know, the next point, then that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to sit back and be like, oh, I should have did Oh, why he did it? You get what I'm saying? Nope. Ain't going to happen. So I'm happy that I chose to be a freaking single mom and not choose to deal with these narcissistic ass dads that I freaking laid down, you know, with, and, you know, made babies with and all that, all that, y'all, y'all know how that go. But, y'all, it's just at the end of the day, women out there, it's hard being a single mom, and I know that it ain't easy being a single mom, you feel me? But if you want to make the conscious, just conscious decision to not have a man in and out of your children's life just to say they have a dad because you don't understand that back and forth in a child's life is traumatizing them even more than having an absent father because what their you know what their parent doing is giving them hope that oh i'm going to do this and i'm going to do that and then disappoint your child i don't want to see that disappointment in my child i haven't seen that in my child's face from from anything that her father said because i kept that from her you get what i'm saying that's why i always tell her you can't depend on nobody in this world if it ain't me, my mom, or my dad, don't depend on nobody. Because ain't nobody coming to save you. It's up to you to change yourself. The way that I kind of talk to y'all, like, I'm brutally honest with my child. She know that. Um, and I tell her all the time that it's not her fault that her dad made the decision that he made. She is enough. I tell my kids all the time. Because I don't want them to grow up and think that they're not enough because they dad decide to do whatever. No. No, 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 ma'am. Life is about choices and decisions. They made the, the choice and the decision to run the streets. You know what I'm saying? And I always tell you, tell them. My youngest one too, even though she little. You know what I mean? Love you. Da, da, da. Not, not so much, but you get what I'm saying. I always say make her feel like she's enough. You get what I'm saying? Because it's hard. It's hard out here for a pen. You're trying to get that money for the rent. For the catalyst of gas money spent. Cause a whole lot of bitches jump shit. <laughs> but y'all, if you enjoyed this um, story time, give your girl a thumbs up, subscribe, share, like, and comment. Oh, yeah, hold on. And another thing, y'all, going into the new year, please don't feel sorry for these men. Please don't feel sorry for them. That's what got me. That's what got me when I was younger and dating and all that stuff, feeling sorry for a man. When at the end of the day, and a nigga never felt sorry for me. So don't go into the new year feeling sorry for these men because they're not going to feel sorry for you. They're going to latch on to you, tell you their life story. They want somebody to feel sorry for them. And once they get you hooked, that's when they got you. Don't give them that chance. You feel me? Don't give them that chance to reel you in with that sucker ass story and just lay it on thick. Don't do it. But if you enjoyed this vlog, give your girl a thumbs up, subscribe, share, like, and comment. Happy New Year's to all my babes. Stay strong. Stay safe. Um, have fun. Love on your kids. Love on your family. Love on who loves you. That's it. Reciprocate that same energy that motherfucker's giving you. That's it. And when you do that, you'll live a lot better. 
treat people how they treat you. And I know that people taught us that when we was younger, but that shit go over top of our head. You know what I'm saying? But treat people the way they treat you. That's it. Not treat people the way you want to be treated. Treat people the way you, they, they treat you. And life will be a lot more easier. Um, cheese, peace, okay. Bye.